On this, the 50th episode of NSMW, we are joined by Michael Effing Rooker, as well as the host of Tech News Today and Frame Rate Tom Merritt. Rooker calls people who have not seen all of Walking Dead and yells at them. We play a little game of Name That Auto Correct, and finally, we strike a foe we have yet to touch on this show. Chat Realm takes on Twitter. RT, if you agree, it's all coming up on NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Hey everybody, it's the 50th episode of NSFW for November 16th, 2010. RT, if you agree. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com. Sign up for your free, no risk, two week free trial. And make sure to use promo code NSFW for 10% off the lifetime of your order. Also brought to you by Carbonite. Back that information up to the cloud. It's the only safe way to keep your stuff alive and kicking in a case of personal disaster. Head on over to Carbonite.com and use promo code NSFW. Very important news item out of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. At least that's what Harvey Westmoreland and his brother Joseph used to think about former friends Troy Halt and James Hill. That was before May of last year on Willisburg Road, where Halt used to live. My brother was cleaning out the stalls out there for Troy, you know, working for him. And uh, they uh, called, want me to come around there. Well, when I get there, I realize that they're already drunk. And of all things to fight about, Westmoreland says, punches started flying over this lawnmower. Troy offered to buy it from me for okay. $250. I paid 20 bucks for it. He thought I was trying to cheat him. One thing led to another, and before I knowed it, there was knives and guns and everything just went haywire. He says his brother had a mark on his neck where a knife was held. But Westmoreland's loss was more permanent. They cut my beard and forced me to eat it. He says Halton Hill let them go, but threatened them. If we called the police, they said we would not live to see daylight. But that wasn't enough to keep the two brothers from calling 911. I believe in the law. I believe that justice has been served. And you know, it will be after Tuesday. That's the sentencing date. And while it'll take some time for some things to grow back to normal... It's not as no, it's long as it was. <laughs> Westmoreland says what's more important, he and his brother lived to tell the tale. I was actually in fear for my life. And I was really in fear for my brother's life. Let that be a cautionary tale to anyone with an awesomely long beard. I can't imagine anyone on this podcast who's rocking some kind of awesome stash or beer. What about you, Justin Robert Rubles the first? You got something you want to share with us, sir? I'll tell you what, Westmoreland's beard did not say relax. That is for darn sure. Well, okay. um, the good news is at least you're the only person on this entire podcast who has a beard. At least. Oh! What? Ryan, cease the lies out of your filthy mouth. We are joined by one of the Mount Rushmore of best guests we've ever had on this show for our 50th episode, Tom Merritt from Tom TNT Frame Red. I'd like to point out that when he not only is Tom here, but his beard decided to join us as well. This is big news for all of us. How are you, Tom's beard? Just snacking on my beard. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't know what that guy was so upset about. Apparently, you know, any anybody who's ever had a beard knows that it's one of the best ways to uh, foster a healthy beard is is to just you know take a little snack off it just every once it. in a while. You know, that's why they say savor the flavor with a beard. But that's not the only person we're joined by, Mr. Justin Robert Rubles. Is that not true? Ladies and gentlemen, not only is he one of the best character actors of his generation, but he is currently destroying the hit AMC series, the highest rated scripted show on cable as Merle Dixon, our friend, your friend, Michael Rooker's back. Michael Rooker's joining us 
thank you so much, Michael Roker, for joining us. This is so huge. Not only, look, we, we thought it was a one-off fluke that you bothered to join us the first time around, but the fact that you're back means you clearly are some bizarre form of sadomasochist. So thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, I, I think that's true. I, I thought that was a fluke, too. But here I am again. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a lot planned. This is our 50th episode of NSFW. If you missed it on the live broadcast, we were able to show some of our highlights of our finest moments in the history of this bizarre little experiment, the shenanigan. And so we thought we would pull out all the stops, and we have a hell of a show planned for us tonight. Talk to us, Justin. Do we, I have a question for you. Do we want to talk about our big thing at the end now, set it up early, or do we just want to get rolling? You tell me. All right. Uh, all I'm going to say is that by the end of this episode, we are going to try to go over the wall. And with our live audience, with chat realm, chattering at the gates, we're going to try and storm Twitter and make them bow to our will. Yeah, that will happen. Specifically, for those of you listening live right now, what we want you to do is we want you to think of the single most retweetable observation, some kind of clever witticism, something that will resonate throughout the ether of Twitter and become the single most retweeted item on the entire internet. Now, we've had some close calls in the past. For example, there are there's an algorithm called Top Tweets that the moment it sees something that gets retweeted abnormally fast, it throws it to the front page of Twitter. I've yeah. hit it twice, Justin hit it once, let me tell you uh, what we're looking for. For example, the first time I ever hit on the front page of Twitter, I tweeted out, for those worried about aging, your 30s are awesome. They're just like your 20s, only you have money. Justin, really? what, did you, what did you tweet? Uh, well, mine was from the day that they uh, shut down Google Wave on the same day they approved gay marriage. And I, I let everybody know that it was a really crummy day for everybody who planned their anti-gay marriage protests on Google Wave. Exactly. And then finally, the, other, the, the last one that happened was I tweeted out, in the entire continental United States, the farthest you can ever be from a McDonald's is 115 miles. Apparently, that yeah, was an interesting fact that was, that was pointed out. And a lot of people retweeted it. Now, here's the amazing part. These showed up on top tweets, even though they only got retweeted 90 times on one and 84 times on another one. We can crush that tonight and dominate the front page. But before we even get started, we need to elect one tweet that we are all going to retweet. So I want you to send in your suggestions to nsfwshow at gmail.com. And we are going to step forward and dominate Twitter as it has never been dominated before. Justin Robert Rubles, let's set up our first game, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you are not watching The Walking Dead, then uh, allow me to walk to your house and personally spit in your face. It's the best <laughs> show ever. And uh, it has been made so much better. It was a great pilot. And then Michael Rooker showed up. Uh, I cannot sing its praises enough, but it is not enough that we simply talk about how great it is. No, we need to proselytize, folks. That's why we brought on Michael Rooker himself, we have a couple people in our, in our bank that have not watched all of the, the Walking Dead episodes that are out so far on AMC, and he is going to call them and just in his own, in his own Rooker oeuvre, try and convince them to get on the train. Right. What do we call this little segment, Justin? Brian, we call it... We're going to have ourselves a little powwow. You've been... Rook rolled. Talk about talk. I'm We call it. We call it rook rolling. We're gonna rook roll people. Now, here's the thing. We don't want to hit you up all at once with something that's way out of your element, that's way beyond your pay grade, right? So we're gonna start you off nice and easy. We've selected the first person that we've selected for you to call is somebody who knows who you are. Somebody who's watched The Walking Dead, who actually loves The Walking Dead, but who we know for a fact has not yet watched the third episode of The Walking Dead. So we're going to start you off easily. You should be able to identify yourself with this guy and let him know what's what. Do you have any questions, anything we need to answer before we move forward here? I have no questions whatsoever. See, that's the man. That's because he's, he's a friggin' professional, Bri. That's stupid for you to even ask. His <laughs> goddamn <laughs> Michael Rooker. Okay. Just bring him on. Bring right. him on. Done and done. I'm calling him right now. We'll see if he answers. And I don't think I answered the right thing. Oh. It's the buttons. I got to hit the buttons. the buttons. There we go. I'm calling him right now. <laughs> calling him right now. <laughs> Justin, you hit it right at the top. Here we go. I'm ready. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
you want to leave a message or you want to call him back? Justin? You better leave a message. You better leave a message. Yeah, we'll call him again. We'll call him again. Hopefully he'll understand this is a very important deal and he needs to answer the freaking phone. Because This is a great beginning to this awesome episode. <laughs> Look. Hello, CJ. CJ Johnson. Yeah, we're going to have ourselves a little powwow. You've been Rook Rolled. Talk about who's in charge. I vote me. Go for it, Michael. Hey, who am I talking to right now? This is CJ. CJ, I, I got an issue with you, my friend. I hear Where that you've it? seen the pilot and the second episode of The Walking Dead. But I you have it. not seen the third episode of The Walking Dead. Is this true? I have true? not seen the third episode yet. You know who this is. True. I've seen the first and second episodes. You have. And do you know who you are speaking to right now? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I guess I, I do know. I do know who this is. This is, this is uh, Michael Rooker, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> is that yes, it is, buddy. And I am absolutely pissed. I'm so pissed. That you have not seen the third is... episode right now. And I'm I'm really oh. hurt and I'm confused by this fact. What's going on with you? I've been on the road. It's DVR. <laughs> I'm going to watch it more than once. I'm going to support the advertisers. You just need to back off. Well, listen, listen, listen. Oh. No, 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 no. No, Rooker doesn't back off. <laughs> I don't back off, okay? What you got to do after I hang up this phone with you you got to go in there, turn on your stupid TV set, and don't miss the very opening segment. You know, it's called the teaser, because if you miss the fucking... Oh, sorry about the leg. <laughs> no, keep going, Rook. You got to go. Keep going. The teaser. <laughs> you miss the teaser, then you're going to miss the Rooker, okay? So get in there and watch the show, by God. What's your problem? <laughs> well, wait, if the Rooker's not in it, what's the point in watching the third episode? No, you no, said no, no, he no. wasn't. I didn't say I was not in it. So oh, you said I was gonna miss it. All right, no, all right look, you will miss it if you don't get in there and see it right away. I'm I'm three hour, five hours away from home. I will stay up when I get home and I will watch it tonight. Five hours away. Where where are you at? Uh, I don't know. Where the hell are you at? <laughs> Drive somewhere right now. GPS says I'm five hours from home. Well, don't you have like a a, 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 a um, iPhone or something like that that you can like <laughs> pull up some sort of, of uh, video tweet? All right, so C CJ, you promise you will not go to sleep tonight. You're going to watch this as soon as you get home, right? I will watch it as soon as I get home. All right. Play is this, it. Is Dude, I tell you what, if I don't, if I hear you haven't watched it, you're how well you've been. Rook rolled. Talk about who's in charge. That's I right. Me. Talk about who's in charge. That's Boom. Like Rooker. That's there we right. go. That's, That's one, one down. Right. One down. One, one down. in the bank. You fixed him. You I fixed think I convinced him. him. What do you think? <laughs> No, you, you clearly, he clearly was a lost soul, but now he was found, and it's all thanks to you and your rook yeah. rolling. That was absolutely phenomenal. He's, he's going to drive five hours, and immediately, not even say hi to his wife. His wife is going to be like, whatever. He's just going to face Palmer and just go <laughs> right to the couch. I don't know, watch, honey. Rookie. The, the third episode of The Rocking Dead. That's <laughs> awesome. In fact, he's going to start calling it The Rocking Dead. He's going to be so excited <laughs> about it. It's no longer The Walking Dead as far as this guy's concerned. Uh, oh, God. Justin, I need you for me to tweet me the second number that I'm going to Okay, call. it's in the doc. It's in the doc. Okay, there we go. I'll go ahead and open that up. You want to set this up for us? Because, All right. Because well, now had, it gets more had... challenging. Now it gets more, more advanced. Yeah, that was, that was an easy one. That was an easy one. All right. Here's here's a little bit a little bit of a a, a more difficult challenge. Uh, this guy is named Sean. He's a roommate of one of the people that watches this show. A member of Chat Realm said his roommate. He's just a slug. He doesn't go to the gym. He's fattening up beyond belief, and he's made for Walking Dead. He loved the show, but he's too friggin' lazy to put his ham hands on the remote and click on over the DVR to watch it. So we need you to call him. His name is Sean. And just really just scare the daylights into it. You hear that? 
We're calling him okay, right now. We'll, let's talk Sean, Sean is who you're looking for. Wait for it. Wait for it. And continue waiting for it. <laughs> Still waiting for it, Brian. This just in. Just wait a little bit longer. All right. If he doesn't have an answer, we got to leave a message. All right. We'll leave a message. He's even too lazy to answer his phone. He's too lazy to set up his voicemail in the past to answer this stupid phone call. <laughs> <coughs> Would have changed his life. Okay. Geek is fear in the chat room. Uh, Email me your number, or sorry, PM me in the chat room your number, and if you can hand him his phone, and then the phone. All right, can't believe you guys not even answering. I'm done. I called. I can't. I can't. I canceled on him. I should. Yeah. We tried. We tried. Um, uh, what does that? Does that mean I? Uh, I got the second one or what? No, By default. That, you know what? By default, the the other when the other team doesn't even show up to play, I think traditionally that means that you win, which means, means we I have won. to play the sounder for you. That's pretty. You know what? If he comes well, back, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you play. what we do. We do have another. We have another uh, another viewer that maybe we can convince. Okay, you got oh, yeah. someone? Uh, yeah, yeah. Here I have another. I have another number here. Uh, Tony, cut this out. Even in the fiftieth episode, we cut stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> put it in the put it in the Gmail chat. So or the okay. chat. So I can there, see it there we go. You got it. Uh, oh, is it in the document? It's in the doc. Oh, okay. You wait. It's no. it, it's it's where the old one was. Oh, I see it. Okay, that one right there. Got it. Thank you very much. So we will call that one. All right, this is William. All right, hold on. Here we go. We're calling William. You got to talk to William. You got to set this guy straight. He obviously not so okay in the mind. Wait for it. It's not a hot tip. It's not a hot tip. But you know it's a hot tip. Leave their name and number, and I'll call them back. I'll tell them what we sent me. And if you're how the hell did you get my number? Hang up on him. What is that? What is that? I, that's the number you gave me, Justin. That's why I don't. Uh, that's the number I was given. Wait, I didn't hear that. What was that? I don't know. It said something about a hot tip, and if you don't have a hot tip, why are you calling me? And then it said, "Hang up." And then we hung up. In the morning. Yeah, right. In, in I got, the morning. I say, you know what? As punishment, Justin, I think we need to call your mom. I think we need to wake your mom up <laughs> and just do this right, right to the advanced, no middle of the road, just going straight to the heart. To get so wait a minute. Right. Wait a minute. You're saying that I need to call my own mother, no. Gloria Young. No, I need and I to call your mom and let, let Rooker convince your mom, who is asleep, to wake her up and explain to her why she should watch his awesome award-breaking show, record-breaking show, The Walking Dead <laughs> Award-breaking. No, I mean, that's, it's amazing. They not only win the awards, but they win them so hard they break them. <laughs> that's, that's exactly. That's so They're shattering awards. <laughs> that's all, right. all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. My mom, right now, she wakes up at 6 o'clock in the morning. We're going yeah. to call Gloria Young. Okay. And, and and Michael Rooker, you have to convince her to watch The Walking Dead. She doesn't like zombies. She doesn't like horror movies. But I have faith in the power of Rooker. Okay. Okay. So, Gloria Young. Okay. Now you got a lot working against you, Michael. I know you. I I believe in you that you can pull this off. So we're gonna call her. We're gonna go cold. The only thing we're gonna play is the opening sounder, and it's all you from here. All right. All right. Here, I oh, gotta put my hat on for this. He put his hat on because he means business. That's how Michael <laughs> Rooker rolls. I'm ready. <laughs> This is really your mom's number? This is really my mom's number. Somebody's mom. Hello. Hello there. Hello. This is Gloria Young. How well. You yeah. men. Rook rolled. Talk about who's in charge. I vote me. Go for it. Gloria, Gloria Young, can I, can I speak to you a moment, please? I hear that uh, you hate zombies, you do not like horror movies, and you especially don't like violence on television and in film. Is this correct? Yes, that is 100% correct. <laughs> and I don't blame you, dear. I am, uh, I am uh, horrified at, at all the violence and, and, and brutality that's on television today, and especially on this show called The Walking Dead. <laughs> Have you seen that show, The Walking Dead? <laughs> No, I have not. <laughs> well, listen, I want to convince you that you should probably see that show just so that you can bitch and moan about it. 
You know, it's got a lot of violence. It's got a lot of gut-wrenching stuff going on in there. There are zombies eating people and horses and stuff like that. And, and I want you to see the show primarily because I'm, uh, I'm one of the stars of the show. My name is Michael Rooker, and I play Merle Dixon, one of the Dixon brothers. There's Merle and Daryl Dixon, and we are premier zombie killers. So we kill all the zombies. And I want you to see the show so that you can, so that you can uh, maybe feel sorry for me because there was a couple times when the humans treat me very badly in that show. <laughs> I'm sorry the humans treat you badly, but no, I I would like to pass. Thank you. Oh come on now, you don't want to pass on 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 The Walking Dead because listen, The Walking Dead is actually quite a good little movie, and uh, it, it's it's like a little movie on a TV show, the AMC uh, cable network. And um, I'm, I'm going to, I've got to, I got to, I look, I really, I have to beg you. Okay. Because if you don't see the show, I may not get asked back on the show. <laughs> they may just fire my ass. And, and, um, and I am a really good friend of your son and he likes me. His coworker likes me. And I think his boyfriend likes me, too. Did you know he had a boyfriend? <laughs> okay. Is that a yes? Is that a yes? Okay. You're going to see the show? Is that a yes? No, no, it's not oh. a yes. <laughs> Mom, Mom, it's like Lost. Just watch one episode. You can handle it. If we're gonna watch uh, one, when, what, when would what I be number? required to perform such an act? Whenever, tonight, what? tomorrow. I'll give you. I'll give you a copy of it on DVD. Go to AMC.com. You can stream it. The first episode free. And and look for Merle Dixon and and uh, <laughs> give give AMC a call and shoot him off a, a text and and a, a letter and say you're watching it for the first time and you do not watch these kind of movies. You're watching it for the first time in, in your life. You're watching a zombie movie and a zombie TV show and you're so proud of them for, for uh, airing this kind of thing. And But the real reason you're watching it is because of Michael Rooker. <laughs> okay, will that be able to make me end this call soon? If yes! I say okay? yes! 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 AMCTV.com <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I love you. This is the greatest thing we've ever done <laughs> in the history of this stupid show. This is absolutely amazing. The chat room is absolutely losing it. <laughs> I freaking love it. I have never been more excited for Michael Rooker to call me gay. <laughs> <laughs> I, never I didn't proud. call you gay at all. I just said you had a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, no, good point. Good point. There's a distinction there. It's on the By the way, now. no, if, if I ever did want to introduce my boyfriend to my mom, I would prefer that Rooker did it. <laughs> I've always said that. I've never been so proud to be called Justin Roberts' young co associate. <laughs> it's his <just> co-worker. <laughs> Uh, oh my God, that was freaking amazing! Okay, look, uh, Justin, listen, it's just just you. And me. Uh, we can take just a second, you. And yeah, me. yeah, okay. We, we're we're about to have to. We have to pay some bills here, but before we do pay some bills, uh, look, this is our one chance. This is our one chance. You love the show. I love yeah. the show. We we both yeah. dig The Walking Dead. This is our one love chance it. to sort of just sort of sneak attack the Rook while he's here. And just sort get of get some info. Just, Listen, yeah. that's that's how we're gonna get some attention on yep. this episode. And maybe a little, little scoop, a little dish. Yeah, we'll we'll be all over the Google News. They'll be like, watch the NSFW for the unbelievable scoop that nobody was able to get. I just he I can just, hear you. <laughs> you. You think? You think? <laughs> I okay. I, 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 let me ask him. I'll, right, I'll go, go, go first. Go okay. for it. It's all. It's all you. It's all. It's all. Uh, uh, Mike Michael Rooker. Um, does your character Merle Dixon uh, show up before the end of the uh, six episode season one? Does he come like, back? Like, like, does he survive? Like, 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 does he come back? Because you've already shot that season, so we thought we we thought maybe you you'd clue us in if we could see you again. 
Squarespace is a great solution for anybody who wants to build a website, Brian. Oh, you know what is so great about Squarespace? First of all, how easy is it to build a, a website on Squarespace? You don't need any experience whatsoever. And the best part is if you do have experience, if you're some kind of CSS wizard, then you're going to be able to take advantage of their system and you can make an amazing looking website instantly. You know that they have a two-week free trial and you don't even need a credit card to sign up for it. You just get, get, just instantly get started. Did you know that? Absolutely. Listen, I mean, in this day and age, when you have so much news and everything out there, you might get a little inspiration to write a website, as happened to me this week, Brian. I set up my website on Squarespace. You, you have a new website? Really? I have a new website, yeah. What, what, what's your website? Well, you know, there's a, this whole big TSA controversy, Brian. I don't know if you've heard about it. But uh, oh, apparently wow. people are all up in arms about uh, the fact that they're taking naked pictures with these scanners to make yeah. sure there's oh, no bombs. I thought you were talking about ismerlthegovernor.com. This is a different website. Yeah, no, no, no. This is a uh, ismerl the governor. <clears throat> it totally, that's, that's, a, that's a in the pipeline There's product. A, we're not ready to announce that one yet. ismerlthegovernor.com. Okay. No, 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 no. Not coming out yet. But, but right no, now, no. We're well, what's your website? What's your website? Well, um, my website is kind of celebrating the fact that these pictures are out there. Because, by the way, even if it is an unconstitutional invasion of your privacy, we still get to see if some guys are packing. That's why I've introduced meatpackers.squarespace.com, where only the biggest dongs in the naked pictures from the TSA get posted. Just, Justin, are you... Look, this is a sponsor read. You don't... Are you, are you seriously proposing on the sponsor read that you want to create a website that features the photos of men's genitalia taken against their knowledge without their will. Listen, bro, not, not the short stops, only the long dongs. Bring them on, folks. Hey, let's celebrate it. Even if we're all going to hell in a handbasket and shredding our civil liberties, doesn't mean you ain't got a huge rod. Justin, look, here's the thing. When you do a controversial website, like this TSA thing is exploding. That's all we're talking about on Fox News. This exploding. website is going to get crushed with traffic the day you put it out. There's no way. And it doesn't matter because on Squarespace, they balance their servers enough that not even the most ardent collection of long dong TSA pick lookers on will be able to crash my site, meatpackers.squarespace.com. All right, if I can, <coughs> I think what Justin is trying to say is that Squarespace is a publishing platform for anyone, whether it's a bunch of pictures that you want to put on the website, whether it's a blog, whether it's speculation about The Walking Dead's future episodes, you can have a great looking website instantly within 30 seconds. In fact, I'm betting that, uh, that uh, well, actually, I hesitate given the name that you just suggested for your website. <laughs> I hesitate to even check what's at that URL, given the, <laughs> what our chat room is up to. But it would be interesting to see if somebody could throw together by the time our next sponsorship rolls around to put down ismerlthegovernor.squarespace.com because I'm pretty sure that will be up in no time because it's so quick and easy. And the best part is when you sign up for your Squarespace, you can not only get 10% off the lifetime of your order, but you'll be keeping NSFW in business. You got anything else you want to share here, Justin? Yes, folks. Meatpackers.squarespace.com. Another Squarespace success story. <laughs> That's we He's winking for those of you audio <laughs> listeners who couldn't see that. Okay. Justin. Hold on. I'll try and wink louder next time. <laughs> you just hear, you just hear this, this, this like. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. You wink that as was, loud as you can. He was like. <laughs> Brian, all right. There's another thing that's really sweeping the internet. And that's, uh, you know, when you're on your phone, you're trying to text your friend. Let's say the iPhone, it tries to correct what you're writing with your dumb, gigantic fingers. It tries to help. It tries to help it you. It does. Out. It's well-meaning, but sometimes things get a little hairy. Uh, Rooker, do you have a do you have a smartphone? Do you have an iPhone? I do have an iPhone. Yeah. How do you like? Yeah, it? I like my iPhone four, uh, except that um, every time I try to uh, update it on the computer, I end up um, syncing the thing, and and I end up having uh, yet another copy of all my contacts. Yeah. Now I have three or four <laughs> copies of all my contacts on my iPhone. And you keep accidentally calling Justin's mom. We understand that could be a big problem. <laughs> Look, me and I, I Justin, go ahead. <laughs> Say, go, ahead Justin, go ahead, Go ahead, go ahead. Say Daddy oh, Rooker. Oh, no, I, I thought you were saying something about my mom, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Say Daddy Rooker. <laughs> Daddy Rooker. Oh. God, you have no idea. There's no way you can shame me into that. 
That would be the coolest thing ever. If that's how this episode ended, that would be the best ending ever. That would be the happiest boy on the planet. Brooker is my new stepdad. (laughs) (laughs) Well, here's what we wanted to do. We wanted to pit a game where you two took each other on, our two guests. First of all, Tom Merritt, my co-host on the new Frame Rate Show, now on the new and notable section of iTunes, and Michael Rooker, who I understand has a TV show that may or may not be successful. The two of you guys are going to face off against one another in a game that we invented last week called da- uh, Name That Autocorrect and explain the rules to both of our gentlemen here, Justin. Here's the deal, folks. I'm going to read a back and forth conversation and you, uh, whoever's the turn it is, will have to guess what word they were meaning to type. So I will read the incorrectly autocorrected text and you have to tell me what their intention was. So in other words, it's going to be a conversation that makes total sense until one word is clearly wrong. And that's the fault of the iPhone that guessed that tried to autocorrect a word that didn't need to be autocorrected. And you guys need to figure out what the word was. Any questions? Either of you guys. No, no Governor? Got it. Got it. Tom Merritt? Go. Go. It works for me. All right. Here we go. This is the, uh, the first one, and it will go to Tomas Marit. Uh, I will read it in two distinct voices so you understand the conversation. I'm home and I love you. (laughs) Oh, I'm looking for cute thugs to put in our apartment. Cute thugs? (laughs) Cute thugs to put in our apartment. Yeah, well, you know, I lived in Oakland for four years, so I'm still waiting for the (laughs) job. I've always heard that Oaktown had the cutest thugs. Okay, um... Cute things to put in our apartment. <laughs> Cute things, Justin. Put in our apartment. Correct the morning. Oh, okay. That's good. You got it. That's one out of the back. Now listen, uh, 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 Rooker. This is uh, Michael. This is. I mean, between you and me, I mean, I'm a big fan. Don't get me wrong. My co-host on Frame Rate, Tom Merritt, is a great guy, and he knows a lot of things. He's a smart guy, but I mean, come on. He's a pundit on a podcast network. Come on, you're Michael yeah. Rooker. Are you really going to let him take the lead like that? Come on. I think I think Tom is w- way smarter than me, and I will try my best, though. I, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to try All right, again. Justin, ready? take him to task. Okay, All right, on. here we go. Here is, here is wait, your wait, entry. Let me get my glasses on. Maybe I'll be – it'll help. <laughs> you look smarter. You look way smarter. <laughs> I love how Rooker is doing prop comedy. He's switching <laughs> costumes. Dude, that's the commitment to the bit he has. He's a professional, <laughs> unlike any of us. Go ahead. All right, here it goes. Oh, yes, me too. How's apartment hunting going? Well, I'm back out on a rig now, so it's at a standstill right now. But I kind of... Oh, my goodness. We just lost Justin. We just lost Justin. What is going on? What is that? I'm going to call him back. I'm going to call him back. Hopefully, we'll get him right back on. This is the chat room. What I love is the moment this kind of thing happens, the chat room (laughs) absolutely loses it. So we're going to bring him back on. That was the best part is that he dropped off at exactly the right moment for, uh, for it to be as traumatic as possible to everyone, <clears throat> which is good. This is uh, between you and me. He got auto-corrected um, out. Listen, uh, <laughs> this is actually pretty good because now here we are, just you right. and me and Michael Rooker. Seriously, uh, Michael, you could, you could tell us. It's just us. It's just us. You become the governor, right? Right. Merle, Merle becomes the governor. You can tell us. Merle, Merle becomes the governor, right? Right? <clears throat> may, may, I, I, maybe we're having a connection issue. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to. <clears throat> this, this, I tell you what. If what Merle we have governor, here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> you know, right. he's right. He's right, though, Brian. Some men you just can't reach. That's true. That is true. Well, the good news is, is who we can reach is our co-host, Justin Robert Young, back. is I'm back. back. Justin, ah, you here we get what we had here last week. Justin Robert Young, you left. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was amazing. It was amazing. You left, and once you left the room, Michael Rooker totally told us whether or not Merle becomes the governor. It was, no, yes, we totally missed it. Oh, Bad gosh, news. Damn it. Bad news, bro. Oh. Bad news. <laughs> This is the last time I leave and get spoilers left with, you know, <laughs> spilled without me. Okay, go ahead. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, uh, yes, me too. How's apartment hunting going? Well, 
I'm back out on the rig now, so it's at a standstill right now. But I kind of have two places I'm sexting between. <laughs> can I just point out? Can I point out that that in your leaving and coming back, you totally reversed? <laughs> Which totally. One? I'm sorry. I made what is uh, what what me. I mean, and Rooker can understand this. That we as actors sometimes you just have to make decisions on the fly. <laughs> Okay, you know, fine. this is something that you know, Rooker can understand. Fine, I'm talking okay. to a fellow actor here, so well, why don't we help him? I out felt like he could understand my shorthand. I'm sorry. Re I had to keep up with you. Read Brian. it again so that Michael can try to answer the question. Go for it. Okay. Ah, okay. uh, <laughs> yes, me too. How's apartment hunting going? Well, I'm back out on the rig now, so it's at a standstill right now. But I kind of have two places I'm sexting between. All right. <laughs> Michael, what is the word? I, I'm, I'm guessing it's not sexting. Sexting is the word yes, that's wrong. Sex, right? Sexting is the word that is autocorrected. Okay. So you're looking for, <laughs> I, I have two places I'm sexting between. I have two places I'm blank between. <laughs> I would, I would, oh, I hope it's driving between. Driving between, Justin? Oh, no. It turns out that Michael Rooker is made of people after all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, what. Uh, now we have a chance for the steal. You have a yeah, steal. And, then, and this wins the game for Tomas Marie. <laughs> Tom Mayer could win the game right now. Steal it from Michael Rooker for the rest of your life, Tom. You'll be able to say, you know, Michael Rooker, I beat him at a game. That's that's a very rare thing. <laughs> oh, no! Rooker's not the only one who plays prop comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say deciding. Deciding? Yes, I oh, We have a winner. <laughs> I can't believe it. I cannot Mike. believe it. Yeah. See, oh, look at that. See, what this is what a gracious sport Michael Rooker is. He's actually clapping for you. You know why he's clapping for you? Because you're going to be dead before midnight. Exactly. And he's because gracious I just like got that. It before I can hit the pillow when I lay down to sleep. But, I, you know, it was worth, it was worth the win. All right. Look, we we uh, we got a short break, and then we have a very ambitious program here. We're trying to set Twitter history. You you do the Twitter, right there, Michael? Yeah, I do. Yeah, and 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 uh, Ace Detect, you you got one of those tweets? You got a tweet? Um, something like that. Yeah. Justin, are you familiar with the tweets? Uh, oh, oh my gosh, I, I love them. I, I couldn't gotta get enough of them if I tried. All right. Well, all of this just brings me back to uh, something I actually wanted to ask. Michael Rooker, which is, uh, Michael, seriously. Okay. So you can't say we, whether we, or not. We, we've been screwing around yeah. and dancing around it. Yeah. No, no, no. But let's just ask. But you're, you're definitely, definitely contracted to come back in season two, right? You can tell us. De Michael Rooker definitely coming back. Merle Dixon. He survives and becomes he, the governor and comes back. Right. He, you could tell us. You could tell us. That's you know what? One. Sometimes people's stuff gets lost. Like, it just gets it lost. It does. And, and, and even if uh, Mr. Rooker won't tell us about the future of Merle Dixon, uh, like, like ta Tom Merritt there, uh, I'm taking part in National Novel Writing Month. You're, you're, you're writing a novel. I am writing a novel, yeah. And it's actually, it's funny that Michael Rooker's here. It's so funny that this is a very odd coincidence. But it's actually a, 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 a youth fiction novel about the uh, life of his character on the, on the show, uh, Merle Dixon. Wait, I'm sorry. So you're saying you wrote a book about Merle Cur Dixon. Currently writing. You yeah. are writing a book, a yeah. novel about, like, fan fiction? A young fiction? adult novel. A young yeah, adult a, a novel. Young, young adult novel about a young Merle Dixon for National Novel Writing Month. And I have to make sure that it's backed up on Carbonite.com so I don't lose it just in case of a fire or my computer stolen. Well, oh, I mean, what's weird, I mean, I don't see why you have to back it up because I already have the cover right here. It's called Rooker Does Not Back Off, right? That's the name <laughs> of the show. Right? No, no, book. this one, this one's actually, it's about a, a younger, it's not Rooker, it, it's Merle Dixon. Uh, and it's, it's. <laughs> yeah, but weirdly, like, as a youth, Merle Dixon used to call himself Rooker. That was his self appointed nickname, right? That's how. You know, maybe, maybe I'll change it to that. But right now, my working title is Lil Dixon. <laughs> okay, Lil, <laughs> Lil Dixon. Lil Dixon. Uh, and it's basically a, 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 a kind of a modern day retelling of, uh, of, of, uh, uh, hold on. Let me let me look up what I said. It was going to be Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> All right. So the point is, is your uh, that 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 famous Tom or uh, 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 Mark Twain novel Huck Finn, basically a modern day Huck Finn, where where a young Merle Dixon. 
teams up with his friend on a raft named Jim. And um, they go on all sorts of adventures together. Now, now this is weird because in the TV show, Merle Dixon's like a raging racist. He's a terrible person. Yes. Well, I mean, wouldn't that be... Oh, he was not a racist as a kid, right? Oh, no, still very racist. <laughs> very racist. <laughs> well, okay. you, should, you, you should hear what he calls Jim. <laughs> okay, okay. This is a terrible idea. This is a terrible book, and you're a terrible person for writing this book about Come Merle on. Dixon. It's National Novel Writing Month, everybody. Make sure you back up your copy on Carbonite.com, Brian. No one can get at it, not even little Dixon. Okay, all right, but the important thing is when it comes – can I tell you a quick story about Carbonite.com? You know, uh, Of course you can. I always thought I was clever keeping multiple hard drives backed up because I'm like, well, hey, man, as long as I have multiple hard drives – you know, then, you know, it's like one's on the top floor, one's on the bottom floor. Even if, see, and look, there's there's Ace Detect. He's got a bunch of hard drives. It's like I always thought having hard drives was the answer with all my stuff backed up, right? Because it's cheap and I don't have to spend the money to go to Carbonite. Do you know what happened recently? When we were moving back from Orlando, from Halloween Horror Nights, back to Austin, Texas, I realized we pulled into this hotel and my car was parked outside and I swear, I was getting ready to go to bed, and I was like, my main office computer is out in that car. My studio computer that has all the backups for everything is out in that car. My laptop that has a third backup is out in that car, and I realized that all my eggs were in one stupid basket, and that if my car got stolen, or if somebody threw a firebomb in there, I would lose all of my photos, Every single episode of BB Live Show, of NSFW, all of the work I had done for Scam School, everything that I had ever done, would it do it? Light it. Light it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Melt it. <laughs> Come on. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Tom Everett, listening right now, Tom Merritt is literally melting a hard drive because he don't care. He ain't scared. He's on carbonite. That's right. That's right. But he's the, getting that stuff on carbonite. And if I was on Carbonite, <laughs> it wouldn't have been a problem. Everything would have backed up because it would have been offsite. It would have been automatic. I would have had 100% of all my important files totally backed up. And that is why people need to go to Carbonite and use promo code NSFW, Justin, sir. Absolutely. Listen, I'm only in the first 200 words of Lil Dixon. But if I lost the opening monologue where he meets Jim and goes on a tirade, I don't know what I'd do. Back it up with Carbonite.com. Head on over to Carbonite.com, use promo code NSFW, and most importantly, keep obscure, idiotic sponsor reads like these <laughs> in business. It was, it was a horrible raft ride. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we finally make Twitter history? Can, can you explain what we're trying to do here, Justin? Oh, my God. But Brian, we were talking earlier today about how we were going to follow a show where uh, Michael Rooker is going to call my mom and uh, we're going to do two sponsor reads. And there was only one thing that we could do. And that's to do what we've always done on this show and make sure that chat realm, everybody who shows up here live, everybody who listens on iTunes, everybody who makes sure that NSFW is a part of their lives and, and keeps our numbers where they are. You are what make the show. You guys are front and center. Chat realm represent. We're going to try and get a topic trending on Twitter. Brian. Break out the, the, the special or secret weapon okay, on how we're going to do Okay, here's the thing. It. Here's the thing. We have figured out a couple of things about Twitter. Now, here's the thing. There's one target we've never tried to take on on Twitter. I mean, on NSFW, and that's Twitter. And that's because there are so many people using Twitter, it's almost impossible to game. We've crushed Dig in the past. We managed to get stuff to explode. We made we made Melissa's video, like the number one video on Dig with millions of views and just a couple a of A YouTube days. sensation. A YouTube sensation. But here's where we run out of steam is there are so many people using Twitter, but then we found the back door. We found the thermal exhaust port that I believe we can totally explode this thing up. Here's the thing. If you go to Twitter.com, I don't know if you know this, but they have something they call top tweets on the front page of Twitter.com. I'm going over there right now. So if you go to Twitter.com, I'm going to log, I'm even going to sign out so that we can see it the way most people will see it. If you look down here, you'll see it says top tweets, top tweets. The way it picks these top tweets is there's an algorithm that automatically picks tweets that explode super fast above what you would expect them to do. So it's not enough for somebody with a million Twitter followers to write something and it just explodes. They got to see something above schedule. And then when they do, they automatically throw it up on top tweets. So we are going to try to construct the most retweetable tweet 
in all of Twitter. Is that correct, Justin? Absolutely. And here's the hashtag we're going to use. Hashtag RT if you agree. That's right. So all we need to do is just have something that nobody can disagree with. We're going to have everybody on this panel tweet it uh, off of Brian's initial tweet. We're going to retweet what Brian says. And we want everybody for you guys to retweet exactly that tweet. And hopefully your friends will see it and they'll retweet it because it will be, you know, totally, uh, you can't disagree with it. For example, to keep it a simple version, it's like peanut butter is the bomb. RT if you agree, right? Absolutely. I've got, so I've, got now, a, I've got an example here. Uh, Minxy, M-I-N-X-S-Y, just tweeted creme brulee, happiness. RT if you agree. RT right if you go. agree. Could totally be appropriate. There. That's totally appropriate. Now, what we had people do since we started the show is we had them send in their suggestions to nsfwshow at gmail.com. We're going to pick some of the best. We're going to talk it through. It's going to be really fast, and we're going to take action, and we're going to blow up the Death Star of Twitter, and in fact, the final rule, let me just say, in this entire operation, Merle Dixon is the final go, no go. Yes. Michael Rooker gives us the final, like, yes, that's retweetable. Wait, wait, no, wait, which one, both. Brian? Merle Dixon or Michael Rooker? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry. The governor is going to give us the go, no, <laughs> all, right, right? All, right, right? all right, all right, all right. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, here, here we go. Uh, so this one coming from DJM, and listen, this is more... Two and a half men, okay? We're not looking for edgy. We're looking for something that everyone would agree with. So hugs are awesome. RT, if you agree. What do you think, Brian? Uh, wait, what, what does it say? Say it again. I didn't... Hugs are awesome. RT, if you agree. Or is ah, that too, too soft? Too simple. Too basic. Too, you're, you're just pandering to the masses there. Hugs, please. Not edgy enough. How about this one? Thomas Silk says, how, wonder how the TSA is going to handle it when someone shows up for a flight wearing a kilt and they refuse the body scan. RT, if you agree. See, I think too political. We can't, we can't offend, like, like Michael Jordan said, you know, Republicans buy Nikes too. We got to be, we got to be cross, uh, cross the border here. I don't know. Let me ask our guests. What do you say, Tom? You with them or no? Uh, I, I, I actually uh, would almost object on a technical ground. Is there enough character space to RT if you agree? That's true. That's mm -hmm. a good point. What do you think of the kilt wearing TSA tweet, Rooker? I think the uh, kilt wearing TSA tweet, uh, the, it would be a, a little bit too easy. You know, That's a good the point. kilt is like open, it's an open thing, you know. No. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, Justin Wayne says the queen is on Facebook. Time for everybody else to move on. RT, if you agree. Oh, no. That's no. That's, now you're just hating on the queen, right? What's up with that? <laughs> Uh, okay, here's one. <laughs> this will be a bit weird to put RT if you agree, but we've got some factoids. For example, the first known contraceptive was crocodile dung used by Egyptian, <laughs> Egyptians in 2000 BC. RT if you agree. <laughs> that might be a little long. I'm going to go ahead and object to that one on space, not content. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, clans of long ago that wanted to get rid of unwanted people without killing them used to burn their houses down. Hence the expression to get fired. First of all, I don't even know if that's true. I'm pretty sure that's, that's not made true. Up. That's, oh, that's absolutely true. Yeah, that's verifiable. <laughs> I, uh, I think I found it in Hodgman's uh, more information than you require. <laughs> absolutely. All right, here we go, uh, Brian. Zombie Hitler is a menace that must either be prevented or destroyed. RT, if you agree. <laughs> Well, that's a question. How can you agree? You have to answer it. You can't agree. No, no, no. It's it's a statement. He needs to yeah. be prevented or destroyed. R One of the two. Agree. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I thought it was asking if he should be prevented or destroyed. <laughs> We're trying to decide here, folks. Should he be prevented or allowed to exist and then destroyed? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> okay, yeah, I misunderstood. That's not bad. I'm actually going to say Zombie Hitler's my new baseline, unless you guys, I mean, what do you say, Justin? I think it's good. It's good for now. I think it, it, it's good. If we don't find anything real quick, then we can go with that. Michael, are you okay with us preventing Zombie Hitler? If you, if you prevent, prevent Zombie Hitler? Yes. And then, well, when do you get to kill it? <laughs> Yeah, see that prevented or destroyed is throwing you off too, isn't it? Okay, all right. Yeah, all right. It threw me off too. Right. I, I would, I would. It'd be okay if we let, allow him to be, and then we get to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we do uh, have, we do have. There's actually a. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but there's a Rookerd bot that just chimed <laughs> in. Michael Rooker doesn't oh. back off. RT, if you agree, <laughs> and that's pretty good. 
<laughs> Who would uh, not agree with that? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to run with that one, actually. All right. It, I, I, I guess I got one more one, here for you. This one comes going, from uh, oh, Kelly. You know, I don't want to be involved with the Hitler, but there is absolutely nothing to object to in that tweet. Michael Rooker doesn't back off. That's like saying stuff falls down. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. All right. Here we go. I got this one from Kelly uh, Carlton. Uh, I like my Twitter like I like my sex, alone in, in the dark. RT, if you agree. That's terrible. Who wants it alone and in the dark? <laughs> Nobody's going to agree with that. <laughs> a little, little, little humor here, Bri Bri. Come on. No, but, but Rooker nobody, loves it. We want something that everybody's going to retweet. That's not going to happen. That's, that's, like, that's <laughs> like saying, I will die alone. RT, if you agree. <laughs> yes, By the way, agree. Kelly we'll Carlton is the Hooters girl that won the, uh, the national contest uh, with the Kitty Pride outfit. Well, then that's because just a lie then. Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe she likes her sex alone in the dark. Who are we to tell her she's a liar? Uh, okay, what about this one? Justin Bieber should be a featured zombie on Pound the Walking Dead. RT, if you agree. Oh, my God. There we go. Who would say no to that? You know what? Let's elect somebody right now and start it because everybody loves the Walking <laughs> Dead. I don't know that Justin Bieber would be the right pick because that's like a positive thing to get a chance to be a zombie, mm -hmm. right? But, I mean, who wouldn't want to see – I mean, there's a lot of, you know, schadenfreude out there about Justin Bieber. Who wouldn't want to see him uh, zombieing around? Yeah, but but the moment you say Justin Bieber, there are people who will dislike it instantly. They're like, boo this Bieber. Yeah. So there's a lot of people. Who, who, who is that Beep anyway? I don't know who that is. The blue states. You don't know who Justin Bieber is? You I don't know. know this person. Who is this person? This is the greatest thing Michael Rooker's ever <laughs> said. Is I don't know who Justin Bieber is. This is the most epically manly thing I've ever heard from the mouth of <laughs> Michael Rooker. This is amazing. I'm I'm okay with the idea of the zombie Bieber. That I might go ahead. Well, hey, by the way, if you look at, I'll bet you if you look at trending topics right now, uh, guess who you're gonna see up there? Hey, it'll be it'll be Justin Bieber. But but this Russell be... Simmons actually. Oh, did he? I mean... He didn't die, did he? <laughs> I'm just saying. RT, if you agree. <laughs> did Russell Simmons die? What if we, what if we like, I hope Russell Simmons didn't die. RT, if you agree. <laughs> no, it's just stuff about Russell Simmons. What oh, okay. channel does Russell Simmons' show come on? Okay. For how everyone about, how Amber about Rose, a, would Michael episode. Rooker make a great stepdad for Justin Arya? <laughs> <Arnold? laughs> I wish Michael Rooker was my stepdad. RT, if you agree. Right? I'll tell you what, I, I, I wish, I, you know, I, I can't even, I'm speechless. I, I just, I'm just going to hope and pray. <laughs> okay, so I've got one more. Uh, uh, there's the special report about cat crack. RT, if you agree. <laughs> May, uh, Michael Rooker makes me remember that he used to hide under my bed when I was a child and kept me awake in fear at night. <laughs> RT, if you agree. What? I don't know. That sounds like something you go to therapy with. Yeah. I, I, I like this idea of saying somebody is somebody should be a featured zombie on The Walking Dead. I'll tell you, all right, who's who's huge on Twitter? Russell Simmons. <laughs> Russell Simmons is huge on Twitter. Well, what about I, I tell you what, uh, Rooker, you're your boys with Nathan Fillion. That could go viral, right? Oh, dude. Do, are or you friends Rain, with or Rain Wilson? Wow. Yeah. Why don't we yeah. put Rain Wilson is a zombie? Yeah, okay. Uh, Walking Dead should feature at Rian Wilson or or at Nathan Fillion as a zombie. RT, if you agree. I, I think, think you got it. No ors. I think you got to give him one. Well, I, yeah. You can't pick favorites. No, no. Well, well uh, Rain is in uh, the new James Gunn movie with Rooker sooner. Uh, is super, of course, which super, is uh, yeah. doing the festival circuit. So maybe we should go with Rain. Rain's huge on Twitter. You just want to do yeah, Rain yeah, Wilson? Rain's huge on Twitter, and I get to cut his head off. What? <laughs> yes, what? no, on the show, the on the theoretical on the show. show. As a zombie, if he's going to be the zombie, I get to put a bullet to his brain. Yes, yes. absolutely. Merle Dixon just called dibs. That's awesome. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Dixon called dibs. <laughs> I get to kill him first. All right. Okay. All right. So here's what we will do. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and tweet this out. We'll figure out the exact phrasing here. By, by the way, by the way, I'm taking that as hardcore proof that not only does Dixon survive, he's the governor in season two. Okay. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what I'm gonna type. Here's what I'm gonna type. I'm gonna type, I'm gonna type um <clears throat> in the next season 
of The Walking Dead. This is you, sounding way too long. No, 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 no. Uh, how do you spell it? R A I N N W I L S O N, or is there a, is there an underscore in there? Uh, oh, you mean oh. his tweet? Yeah. No, no, no the, the the Twitter is Walking Dead underscore AMC. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Right, oh, Rain, Rain Wilson. Rain Wilson. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Is it? Is it? I'm sure we'll we'll see it in the chat room. In quick. the next season of The Walking Dead, at R A I N N W I L S O N is what I'm putting. Should be a featured zombie. Hashtag RT if you agree. And here's the game, guys. This is a two part no, process. It's no caps, Brian. It's just you spelled it right, but no caps. Well, I don't think it matters on the caps. I don't think it matters either, but yeah. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Um, the, uh, uh, here, here's the thing. This is a two-part thing. First of all, we want this tweet to maybe show up on top tweets, so we want you to retweet it. But more importantly, we want you to start using RT if you agree, because the last time, this is a brand new meme that we're hatching. RT if you agree could be huge. And it's launched right now. In the next season of The Walking Dead, Rain Wilson should be a featured zombie. RT, if you agree, and let's see. While we're waiting on, on the results for that, let's take a moment to talk plugs. First of all, uh, Michael Rooker, do you have any projects going on, maybe big projects <laughs> that, with the second season coming up in which you'll play some kind of demented authority figure? Uh, you mean projects other than uh, The Walking Dead? <laughs> I yes, in, in, in my household, when him and my mom start dating. Yes. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I, your home, where's your hometown at? Uh, Davie, Florida. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah. They have, they have a, um, a um, uh, outdoor theater there. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of them. Rodeo grounds. Our first, our first date, we could, we could go on and uh, uh, see a movie or something. Of course. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> No, you're not invited, dude. It's him and, and, and your like mom. A little, little uh, Corvair, a little uh, Corvair Cadillac. That's you fine. Can sit back and eat popcorn. There we go. I'll tell you what. I'm so excited already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll let you bring a date. You can bring your date. It'll it'll be a double date with you All and right. your mom and Michael Rooker. <laughs> <laughs> double date. <laughs> all right. Uh, I, first of all, for anyone who wants to play along uh, with Michael Rooker, it's what? Uh, at Michael Rooker on Twitter. Is that what's going on? At Michael Rooker. Uh, yeah. Uh, at Michael, Michael underscore, underscore Rooker. Rooker. Michael underscore Rooker. Michael yeah. underscore Rooker. And it shows a dash there, but it's actually an underscore. Uh, uh, in addition to our little show, Frame Rate, Tom, where else can people see you on the interwebs? Uh, well, TomMerritt.com is where I, I have all the shows collected. But, the, of course, the biggest one is here on Twit, Tech News Today, every day at uh, 2.30 Pacific, 5.30 Eastern, all the technology news of the day. But don't, yeah, don't short shrift frame rate. Uh, we just went gold. Our first episode was last week, second episode earlier today. If you're into television shows, movies, the way that technology works, how you can stream stuff, all that stuff, Brian and I are talking about it every Tuesday. Yeah, it's sort of a, the show. If you if you dig video, whether it's viral videos, television, or movies, it's it's commentary and insight from the two of us on that. And right now, it's the new and notable podcast on iTunes, and we sure would love it if you guys would subscribe and give us a little bump. Meanwhile, Justin, it's so we, so good, so good. Let me just say, Frame Rate, it's my favorite new podcast. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you guys are just getting better and better. Uh, everybody, go on iTunes right now and, and subscribe and do it. But I, I want to use uh, my plug right now. Let everybody know. That NSFW show, if you've had fun, I know a lot of new people. I've seen the chat rooms bumping tonight, and everybody's coming to watch because Rooker's on and everybody. If you like this show, please go right now to iTunes and subscribe. Uh, chat Realm is what makes this series go. It would it it's, separates us from everything else on Twitter and everything else on the Internet. So uh, please, we, we need your support. We need to get our numbers up. Uh, I, I beg you, if you like this and you like entertainment like this, please support us by subscribing on iTunes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Leo recently mentioned that he felt like the show really deserves to have double the number of viewers it has right now, and that's only possible if guys like you go out there and tell your friends. Yeah. Get and and people say, hey, if you don't do iTunes, then, yeah, Zoom, whatever. It's available everywhere. Go to twit.com. TV slash NSFW, and they have all the options to subscribe. Right. And uh, frankly, course, there's no re reason not to download uh, Zoom iTunes, uh, the old iPod or X, the new version Juice, and subscribe to NSFW Show in all of those clients and just keep them cranking. 
You know what? Exactly. That's exactly, exactly how we roll on NSFW. The only thing left to plug, in addition to my Twitter, at Schwood, that's at S-H-W-O-O-D, is I recommend you head on over to RT, if you agree, dot squarespace dot com, <laughs> where we have a brand new website all the way set up instantly just over the course of this show where you can see all the latest RT, if you agree, showing up on there. That is it for this episode of NSFW, the new show. Oh, 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 my God. We're all done. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you have something else? Are we going to sweeten the pie a little bit? Maybe show a video. Do we have a video to share? I have a video to share. Oh, this is the video that we wanted to show from before. Yes, 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 yes. yes. We absolutely, absolutely will. In fact, in fact, Tony is going to play that video right now. Enjoy, folks. Enjoy. I ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on, on the dance floor. I ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on on the dance floor. Take the panties off. Take the panties off. Take the panties off on the dance floor. Take the panties off. Take the panties off. Take the panties off. Off on the dance floor. Come on, little bitch. Get your panties right off. Take the panties right off. Your little butt. Got the panties on. You ain't got the panties on the dance floor. And that is pure comedy gold in the making. You need to remix that and make a radio hit. It will feature it next week on SFW. Until then, I'm Ryan Brushwood, joined as always by Justin Robert Young. Thank you so much to Michael Rooker and, of course, Tomas Marit. We will see you next Tuesday. Die in a fire! <laughs> Oh, my God. That was awesome. <laughs> good job, guys. Good job. Dude, Michael, that was a blast. I hope you had a good time because we sure as hell time. loved having you on the show. That's for damn sure. Had a great time, man. Had a great time, guys. Hey, uh, by the way, my only regret, uh, Tom, was that we weren't able to involve you more because you're very, very funny. But holy crap, I don't know if you noticed, that was Michael Rooker. Right. <laughs> Wait, that was Michael Rooker? He's in The Walking <laughs> Dead. He's in The Walking Dead, dude, right? Oh, 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 oh. How well? You've been Rook Rolled. <laughs> Talk about who's in shock. I've owed me. I've owed me. I'm just in shock. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just blown away that, like, we had an episode where almost everything we planned went so well, even when it okay, didn't. Now, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing that made this episode for me. And why I was actually very excited on top of everything. I was extra excited to be on the show. Usually, when I come home and I'm on an SFW show, which I've been on a few times, yeah. uh, I say to Eileen, hey, I'm doing an SFW show tonight. And she says, all right, whatever. Yeah. Today, whatever. Tonight. I like the fact that you almost did the Muppet walk. You're like, all right. <laughs> 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 exactly. I'm not oh, saying yeah. Eileen walks like a Muppet. That was just for dramatic purposes. Uh, but um, tonight, okay. I said, hey, I'm going to do an FW show. She was like, it's Michael Rooker. Sorry, and this time, this time she did this. She did. She did. <laughs> now, this, time, this time she said, Michael Rooker. Oh, my God. I can't believe Michael Rooker. I love him. He was just over here the other day. And then he was over here. <laughs> Uh, so she was excited that Michael Rooker was going to be on. Yeah, she was like, oh, that's cool. Look, and she walked in, and, she, and he was on the screen, and she was like, oh, look at that. It's, it's Merle. She said, <laughs> look, it's over there. It's Merle. He's right there in front of us. I thought, <laughs> 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 Okay. She did not do that. Uh, strangely enough. Hey, everybody, it's the 50th episode of NSFW. RT, if you agree.